So what we need to make our vinyl decals for our wine glasses, so we're obviously going to need some vinyl. So this vinyl I'm using, it's Oracle 651, so this is permanent vinyl. For wine glasses, you want to use permanent, obviously, because you don't want the vinyl to start peeling off. So I'm going to use some green and some gold. You're going to want your um, mat. I like to use light blue mat for vinyl. You're going to need your weighting tool. I like to have my tweezers handy just in case. And you're going to need some rubbing alcohol and cotton balls just to clean the glasses. I like to clean these a little bit with the rubbing alcohol just to make sure that I get um, all the dirt and dust off. And then obviously you're going to want some wine glasses. So I'm just using these um, stemless ones. I got these from the dollar store. This is the best dollar store find. These are really good glasses. So so we got everything we need so we wine can get glasses. started. So I am going to make some wine glasses um, for my friend's 25th birthday. So I'm going to do two decals. So my first one I want to do is I want it to say um, I want it to say cheers to is that it? um I'm gonna write 25 in a different font so I'm gonna do that in a separate text box so I'm gonna do cheers to years and then a separate text box so you enter a text box by just clicking this T right here so I'm going to do 25 and I'm doing that in a separate text box because I'm going to make that a different font. So for this one, what I want, the font I want it to be, let's see what font. I like this font for the cheers. I'll fix that in a second. And then the 25, I want that to be... Mm, actually, there's this one I will like. All right, so we have our fonts right here. So for this, we're going to need to move all of these letters closer together so they're touching. So to do that, we're going to first select the box, and then we're going to go over here to ungroup. So we're going to click that. And so now we can zoom in a little more, and we want to make sure all these letters are touching. So now that we've ungrouped it, we can just move all of these together. And wine glasses are probably one of the most easy things. So if you're new to Cricut or just new to crafting, this is a really good beginner project that's going to make you look like a pro. So now I'm going to move these closer over here. Bring the years up here a little bit so I can see everything together. All right. So let's see how we want to design this. So I think I want the 25 to be in the middle and then this to be down below. And I want to make this number, I want the numbers to be a little bit closer together. So I got my 25, I got my years. All right. Move that down a little bit. So I found that with wine glasses, the the magic size is about three by three. That's so you can still kind of see everything. Um, you know, while you're looking at the glass, you don't have to turn it. 
and actually I think I'm at the 25 to stand out a little bit more so I'm gonna move the 25 and I want these two word or this all this text I want it to stay um, proportional I don't want to have to worry about it changing size or having to like you know mess with the size or make sure it's all the same so I'm gonna select it all and I'm just gonna make that part a little bit smaller and so I want to keep the 25 just how it is so the 25 stands out because that's a milestone birthday all right So now what I want to do, I just want to make sure this is all centered. That's kind of the hardest part is to make sure it all looks centered. All right. So now we can work on make the 25 a little bit bigger. So now I'm going to select all of it so it all stays proportionate. And I want to make it about 3 by 3. So you can see up here is where I'm looking to see what size it's going to be. So I'm just going to stretch it out. That looks pretty good to me. So what I want to do now is I want to weld the cheers to and the years. I want to weld those together and I'm going to keep the 25 separate because I want to make these on different color vinyl sheets. So I'm going to select all of this. So I'm, then I'm going to come down here to weld. So welding, basically what that does is it's going to make it all stick together. So it's all going to be one piece of text. So I'm going to hit weld. So now I can move all of this around. And it's one piece of text. And so now I want to weld the 25 also, so it all stays together. So now I'm going to change the color. So I think I want to do the cheers to and the years in like a forest green. So I'm gonna so to change the color, you just select the text you want to change, and then you come over here and you see this little black dot. So this like if the text let's say was red this dot would be red but the text is black so it's black so now this gives us all of our colors and basically what this does is it tells the Cricut machine that you want to cut it on a specific color so it doesn't matter if these colors match perfectly it's just indicating to the machine that you want it to be cut on a different color paper so I'm gonna have this one be green and then I want the 25 I'm gonna cut that in a pretty gold so that's what it's going to look like. Okay, so now the second glass I want to make <clears throat> is her name is Alex. So I just want to make her a cute one that just says Alex. And I want it to be in that scripty font. This is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite script fonts. It's called Austin, and I believe I got it from fontbundles.net. So again, I just unwelded, or I'm sorry, ungrouped these so I can move them together. I'm going to tilt that a little bit. So it... All right, so now I have her name ready to go. So I'm going to, oops, I'm going to weld these by coming down here to weld. And this, I think I want this to be... I think I'm going to have this be about three by about one and a half. Oh, see, that didn't, that, this didn't really weld that great, so I'm going to undo, 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 undo. So now it's not welded anymore, so I just want to make sure it's a little bit cleaner than how it originally looked. <clears throat> All right, so now it's welded. So I want it to be about three, maybe about two and a half inches by about one and a half. 
And it's a li it's a little more than two and a half, but that's okay. And I want this to be cut out in the green. So you guys can also see that this is green and this is green. You know, this part is green up here, so it's all going to print on the same sheet. That's basically what the um, that's basically what it's telling the Cricut that this Alex and this Cheers text can all be printed on the same final sheet. So now we are ready to go make it. So we're going to hit make it. So you can see you have your two mats here. So we have our gold mat, which is going to just cut out the 25, and then we have our green mat, which is going to cut out these two things here. So I'm going to hit continue. It's going to find our Cricut here. All right, so what we need to do first is we need to clean our glasses. So I just put a little bit of alcohol and I just kind of put it on there. So I do this first because then while our vinyl's cutting, we can, these can dry. So I'm just going to move these to the side. Alright, so now we have our mat. So the first mat we're going to cut is the gold. So I just have some scrap pieces. I don't need this huge piece, but I don't know where my scissors are, so I'm just going to put this on my mat. Alright, so we have our mat ready to go. I'm going to bring my laptop over here so you guys can see. So you can see we have our gold mat ready to go. So I'm just going to... I really need to invest in a bigger desk. So I'm just going to pull this out. So this blinking light here means that we're ready to load. So let me make sure this is stuck down. I think I need to invest in some new mats. Alright, so we're going to load this into our machine. And we're going to cut that. cut out. Set that aside. So now it's ready to cut out our green. So for that, again, I'm using just a scrap piece. I wish I had my scissors. I don't know where they went. Go get my scissors. All right. Got my scissors. So I'm just going to cut this little piece up here off. Just so it makes it a little bit easier. So put this on our mat. And I, I always say you need to save your scraps. It makes life so much easier when you need to do small little, oops, nope, I did not mean to do that, because it's not loaded. So we're just going to load our mat. And we're going to cut. Alright, so we can unload our mat. So now we have our green part. Alright, 
I forgot to mention also you guys are going to want to have some transfer tape handy. So I'm using this Oracle um, transfer tape. I really like it because it comes in bulk. But you guys can use whatever you want. So I'm just going to trim some excess off of here. And I'm going to cut these into two pieces because these are going to go on two separate glasses. And then I have my 25 here too. So then I have my wine glasses ready to go. So first I'm going to do the one that says her name. So I'm just going to weed out all this excess. And the vinyl I'm using for both of these is Oracle 651, so it's permanent. I know Cricut also has a permanent brand <clears throat> or a permanent vinyl too, but I like this one. just comes in bulk, but I like the Cricut brand also. So I got her name here. So then I'm going to weed this one also. This is the, and you just got to be a little car careful with these dainty script fonts. Sometimes they can be a little challenging. All right, so we have our cheers and we have our 25 here. So I'm going to weed that one too. All right, so we're good to go. So now I'm going to take my transfer tape. And I'll do this one first. So just cut the transfer tape just so I don't waste too much of it. So then I'm gonna take the transfer tape. I like to just it just helps the weeding tool just helps me get off the paper. So I got my transfer tape. And put this here. I like to start in the middle and then work my way out. Should also have my scraping tool. I think it's in here. Yep. So make sure it's on there. All right. And so actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some water in this. And the reason why is I read a trick that says if you put a, you know, a glass of water in here, it'll help you get a straight line. So I'm going to go put some water in this. All right. So we have our water in here. So you guys can see water. So this, it's going to help me make sure that the text is straight because the glasses are curved, obviously, so sometimes it gets hard to actually get them in, on, get the decal on straight. So this is just a little, little help. So now I'm going to peel off my decal onto the transfer tape. And another secret, not secret, a tip or a trick that I've learned over the last couple months is to prevent air bubbles um, and just to help prevent the tape from peeling the stencil or sorry I've been doing a lot of stencils from peeling the decal is I cut little slits into this so I can just take the transfer tape off in a couple of different of pulls instead of trying to get it all off in one clean pull. So let's can you guys see that okay? Let me bring you down a little bit. So now you can see how I'm gonna apply this. So I'm gonna go off of this line here and I want it like right in the middle. So this water line is just gonna help me get it straight. So once I get it stuck, I'm gonna start pressing it in the middle and work my way out. So you just want to make sure you just smooth it out as much, much as you can. So you can see, I love this forest green. It's really pretty. All right. Take a, just 
good measure. So now we're just going to take off our transfer tape. All right, so we have our first one ready to go. I'm actually really thirsty, so that water looks pretty good. So now we're going to do this one. So I want to make sure this 25 is going to fit. So I'm just going to cut it a little bit just so I can make sure. Perfect. Okay. So now I'm going to take the rest of my transfer tape, trim it a little bit. I'm going to put the chairs on first. And actually, I'm going to do this in two sections just to make life a little bit easier. So I'm going to do the cheers first and then I'll do the years. Or actually I'll do the cheers, I'll do the 25, and then I'll do the years. One by one. Okay. So I think I'm going to do the cheers up here. Yeah, that looks good. So I'm going to put this cheers on first. Oh, I'm going to just couple, cut a little, couple of slits in there. I don't know why that works, but it helps. So I'm going to put this here. I'm not going to stick it on completely yet. I just want to make sure all of this looks right before I make anything too permanent. I don't know if you guys can hear Joe right now. He's in the other room watching college football. All right, so we're going to peel off our 25. I'm losing my natural light here quickly. is giving me problems. Okay, so I'm going to put the 25. I'm going to cut this piece of transfer tape so it doesn't snag. I think I'm good. So I'm going to stick this bad boy on. So it doesn't interfere with my... Oops, forgot I had water in there. Alright, so we have our cheers. So we have our cheers too. Now we can put our 25 on. Looks pretty center. So I'm just going to rub this on. It's supposedly fall right now, but it is like so hot today in our apartment like every day I feel like it's been quite warm all right so I'm gonna take my piece of transfer tape and I'm gonna do the years all right so let's peel this off and now we're gonna put our ears on And if you do this water trick, I would just make sure the water's not too cold because then it'll start condensating. So I'm just going to rub this on. Then I'm going to peel it off. So now you have your two customized wine glasses or one or however many you're making. And you know how you can make them now. So happy crafting. Cheers.